what up people welcome back to the channel if you haven't thought about a course yet for your knowledge to share something that you really mastered you should because that business is only growing and is a beautiful way to make money with the art that you already developed with the creativity you already mastered and just a quick note that market the online course marketing is only growing and is going to triple in the next five years i believe a lot more people that are going to come into it so today we're talking about the two main tools you can use or the two main platforms you can use to host your course teachable and kajabi there are many other ones in the market and i'm gonna list a few of them so you can kind of take a look and see if any of the other ones are right for you but I personally have experience with Kajabi and Teachable. I actually hosted my course, Creative Shop Formula, in both of those platforms, and I had to drop one. And if you stick around until the end, I'm gonna tell you which one I picked and why I picked it, so keep watching it. Okay, if you got all excited about all I said, just stick around, subscribe, hit the bell, because I'm gonna be talking about online courses and how to make your online course in the next five episodes in this channel. So you wanna make sure you don't miss anything, subscribe, hit the bell don't miss it so let's start with what's out there and whether or not teachable in kajabi is really what you need so a few of the other tools you might consider so we have thinkific learn worlds podia zippy courses kartra which is an all-in-one just like kajabi you could go with plugins for lms learning management systems in wordpress like learn dash or access alley you can go to a marketplace for courses like like Open Sesame, Skillshare, or Udemy. Or you can go to specialty ones like Linda, which now I believe is LinkedIn Learning, EDX, and If I Made. So the main difference between all those options are how much you wanna stand alone in your course creation and also how much you wanna invest in building traffic to your course. So for instance, in sites like Skillshare, you are gonna go and they're gonna take a cut to promote your course so it's something that you don't have to be as involved but obviously you're not gonna get the full price and they also have some limitations to how much you can charge and so on now if you're ready to invest on the full project uh, creating your course selling your course yourself creating sales through your list building or through any other sort of advertising for example then you know Thinkific, Kartra, and obviously Kajabi and Teachable are great platforms. They're not gonna run traffic to your site. You have to do it yourself, but they do have all the marketing tools you need. So that leads me to the first point in comparing Teachable versus Kajabi. The first thing you wanna know is Teachable is a little bit more customer centric. So if you really believe that your course is gonna create the best experience for your customers, for your students, Teachable might have a leg up there versus Kajabi is an all-in-one and they do focus a little bit more on the marketing part on how to sell your course. So for instance, Kajabi gets a little bit more higher points when it comes to creating sales page, having email marketing, so you can really replace a lot of those tools. So let's look inside, see if we can spot some of those differences. This is how Kajabi looks inside. Like I said, it's an all-in-one tool, so you're seeing here some of the options. The first one is website. It's literally for you to create your website. So you can see here that they have all the functionality like design, some templates if you wanna pick a different one, I just made a template one for you to see how it could look like when you are customizing it. But you can literally like create a blog and a page builder, which is literally like your lead pages or your, you know, your standalone opt-ins, value pages. So they have all those templates for you to create your own. You can create your blog and there's some analytics for you to take a look. The important part that we're looking at is actually the product. So you can create different products and that's where your course is gonna live if if you have a membership site, you know, all those things kind of play up in the product area. And they have a lot of things, but we're talking about 
courses right now. So I just created, like I duplicated my creative shop formula. So let's go inside and take a look. Here's how your dashboard is going to look like. You know, you can create all the different modules and then all the different lessons that you have. You know, my course goes through the intro, mindset, the minimum viable product, which is validation, set up your online store, launching your store, and some of the bonuses. Ooh, there's a lot. And enhancements. That's pretty cool. Let's see how it looks inside. You can preview. This is how inside the course it would look like. You can put some videos. You can customize with your own logos and so on. You can put all the different features, a little intro about yourself. Video is pretty good. You can create, see your modules and everything else. Everything goes inside. And this is what the people would actually see. So here's how like the intro video would look like. And then inside each lesson, that's how you would look like. But this is what I mean by being a little bit harder to customize because you have so many pages and so many options. So while the front page, you know, I did it pretty quickly, the inside of each lesson, you also have to customize so you don't see those blue colors. So there is a learning curve there that you have to be mindful of. All right. So marketing is what we were talking about. It's the most important thing. They have a lot of pipelines. So those are your funnels, your sale funnels. Like that's how you're going to create the buzz and like show a little bit about the features of your project or your product and also start gathering people to your newsletter. So I have like an opt-in here. I have a few video training and then you can see all of it. It's pretty cool. But again, like you're going to have to set up all those things. And if you have it already set up with lead pages or on your own website, that might not be the best setup for you. Here is all your people, the people on your list. I just put myself, but you can look at your members, the people that are subscribed and also your affiliates if you have people selling your course. So this is Kajabi. Let's take a look at Teachable. So I also create a new one. Here's your dashboard on the left side. You have users. So users are really all your students, everybody that bought anything. You can also create your own school and have other authors. I don't have anybody here, but authors would be, let's say I want to create a school of styling. So I'll have other people teach styling, maybe floral styling and so on. Site. Like I said, you can also create your website with Teachable, the same as Kajabi. I've never done it because again, I chose Teachable just because it was a little bit easier so I didn't go through this, but you have the option. It's just not as polished as the other one. There's like your sales, obviously, emails if you want to make an email to send to the list and so on. It's a little bit clunky. It's not that set up. Like I said, the experience is really important for them. And then settings, obviously, like all your stuff. So another main difference that you want to kind of look for when you're picking one of those tools is the price right? We all have a budget. So Kajabi, it's a little bit more expensive, but you can get some resources and you can get discounts out there. It's same with Teachable, but Kajabi tends to be a little bit more on the pricier side of things. That said, they really position themselves as an all-in-one. And that leads me to third difference you want to look for, which is how much of your marketing you want to put in one tool. So there are many ways you can structure your course as we've been talking about in this video but primarily you need to decide how you're gonna host your site or your course so that's the platform itself but also how you're gonna get students into your course and that's the marketing part and the funnel and the sales page and all of that good stuff so this is really important like if you want to go for simplicity and you don't have all those things in place yet maybe Kajabi is a better tool for you. It's a little bit more robust. When you think about all the different tools you're gonna combine in one, Kajabi is kind of in the cheap side because you know I pay $70, for example, for Active Campaign, plus Teachable, plus website hosting and all of that. So if you're really combining everything and starting from zero, maybe Kajabi is a better tool for you. That said, if you already have a business going on, an email list and all that good stuff, stuff. 
maybe teachable, it's a little bit more flexible when you want to integrate different email providers or different other sales pages. And overall, it's a little bit cheaper if you're only using the course platform hosting part of the tool. So the next thing you want to look for is how much time you're going to take to learn the platform. So your learning curve. The learning curve is quite different for Teachable and Kajabi and that's mostly because Kajabi like we've been talking about is an all-in-one platform that you actually have so many options to pick from. Therefore your learning curve might be a little bit higher so you're going to take a little longer to learn everything that Kajabi has to offer so if time is really a player on your decision definitely teachable gets higher points versus Kajabi on the other hand if you want to fully customize and give that beautiful experience which you know I'm a creative like you and I love kind of getting everything my way just go with Kajabi but Make sure you have appropriate time because it's gonna take you a while to kind of know all the different possibilities, all the different themes that you can work with. So let's look again, Kajabi versus Teachable, see how the course looks like, and then that might clarify for you a little bit of what the difference in terms of the layout and how they look. Come on in. Dashboard, let's go then to view your school, what I have inside. I just created really quickly. Here's a little bit of what people would see. And then if you have multiple courses, they would come this way. If you want to go inside, I created kind of like this landing page for it. And then my courses, you can see inside. I didn't create much, but the lessons are going to go this way. Preview as logged in user. Let's see if we can. Yeah, this is what we're seeing inside. So. I only create the welcome for this video, but you would see all your videos or your lectures here. And this is really cool. Like I like this template as a student. I like this a lot because you can see your progress, a little bit of the branding, you know, you can customize the colors. And then inside, if you go inside each lesson, you have a pretty good overview, but then you have the video, which is really nice to see it a little bit bigger like this. And then you have any of your PDFs. See how the PDF just comes up. Like this is what you see inside. I think this this template as a student and from someone that used so many different courses, this setup is a lot easier to do and I liked it a lot better. Let's talk a little bit about what they both do similarly, what they both do the same way. So Teachable and Kajabi are going to allow you to create the course, create some sales pages if you want, like that proper sales page for your course, not your business. They also are going to have integrations with your email marketing if you have it. They will allow you to create a cart inside to sell your course, obviously, and they have all the ins and outs to host your lessons. So video lessons, your PDFs, your presentations, whatever you want to share with your students, both of those platforms are going to allow you to do so without so much trouble. So that you can scratch off your list. Those are not really good considerations when you're trying to pick one or another. So let's try to recap and I'm going to talk a little bit about what I chose. So Kajabi overall is an all-in-one tool, is a little bit more expensive, but if you're actually transitioning your entire marketing for your course into Kajabi, that might make sense in terms of pricing. Teachable is more customer or student focused, which means that the ways the, the lessons are structured are a little bit more student focused. So it's for them to have a better go through your course and hopefully learn more. So definitely Teachable focus a lot more in that student experience than Kajabi. Learning, learning curve, that's an important one if you don't have the time, if you have little ones in, in the house like I do and you're trying to do this like really on your spare time learning Kajabi can be a little bit longer and I highly encourage you to have that part if you're building in Kajabi to do and build your course ahead of your launch or of your push to sell your course because doing those together is a big mistake I've made and I don't want you to make it. Teachable 
a lot faster. Another difference is how the course is gonna look inside. So if customizing your environment is very, very important, just make sure, again, like Kajabi takes the lead for customization, but make sure you have the time. Okay, if you wanna know more about the ins and outs of like selling, building your course, creating your first idea, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell. I'm gonna be talking about online course and all those different stages in the next few weeks, so you don't wanna miss it. Another thing to consider is Amy Potterfield is launching her Digital Course Academy, which is amazing. And I've been through and I'm putting a link down below so you can check out some of her freebies and some of her teachings because it's absolutely amazing. I started my course with Kajabi and like I said I hosted my course in Kajabi while I was trying to build my my launch my sales and that was super confusing to me I couldn't really learn the platform fast enough I couldn't find someone to help me kind of on the go like to set up Kajabi for me the way I wanted so Kajabi wasn't the right choice for me for my first course for my first go that said is a tool that I'm looking at it again right now as I plan and try to structure my second launch that's coming next year so for the relaunch Kajabi is back on the mix because I now have more experience I already have the course I already know a little bit more and I know that's a tool that my mentor Amy Potterfield like really recommend and she build some really good um, things inside so I want to take another look but again that was not what I decided to go with and honestly I stand by my decision teachable it's an easier platform it's a lot cheaper if you're looking for you know to host this for a year or two you gotta get your customers and students in the course for years right like everybody gives lifetime access nowadays so teachable definitely in the long run is gonna save you a pretty penny and you can do a lot faster so if you're launching quickly if you are not interested in building all the bells and whistles and if you're not going to do a big merging of all your marketing and sales definitely go with teachable it's an easy to use super focused tool I was very happy in the middle of the launch I was able to launch and get people in super quickly and get feedback on the course for the relaunch so that's my story I hope you liked it again if you're interested in more about online courses we're gonna be talking about that the entire month of August September and many other of those episodes to come so make sure you subscribe hit the bell and I'll see you in the next video